Hi, my name is Tom Kelleher. Um, I'm one of the curators here at Old Sturbridge Village, and right now I'm in the Fitch Barn, where we store a lot of our agricultural tool collection. What I'd like to talk to you today briefly about are butter turns, um, a fairly common tool on most farms since uh, making butter and cheese were large productions of New England uh, farms in the early 1800s. This is the traditional style butter churn uh, called a dasher churn. It actually was made here in Sturbridge in 1813 um, by a man named Peter Belknap. This is the dasher, something that goes up and down through uh, the churn, filled about a third way up with cream. And what that does is incorporates air into the cream, causing the butter fat to separate from the water in the, in the cream, and that's how you get butter. Anyhow, as time went by, they came up with all sorts of improved versions of churns. This one is still a dasher churn, but instead of having somebody laboriously for quite a while move the dasher up and down, as you can see, you've got gears and a crank that can agitate the dasher through the cream to cause the butter to separate or the butter to come. They used to sing a little song about come butter come, but I'll spare you that musical number. As the 1800s went along, you found more and more variations, improvements, if you will, on, on butter churning. This one is called a rocker churn for quite obvious reasons. It's a little keg set on rockers. There is a door on top where you could put in the cream and then every once in a while keep it moving and as it sloshed back and forth, the air would incorporate into the cream and uh, separate out the butter. And when you were done, you'd pull a little plug and drain out the buttermilk and then go in top and scoop out the, the finished butter. Another innovation that was coming along were these rotating churns. This one is a rectangular box with um, dovetail joints to tightly hold it together, a tightly fitting tapered door where the cream could go in, and then you'd secure it and then spin it, and that would aerate the cream as it sloshed around in there to make the butter separate and you've got another drain hole here, plugged when you're using it, and unplugged when you want to empty out the buttermilk when it's all done. Right now we're on the second floor, a harder to access location in the barn that's not open to the public, but as promised, we have a lot more variations on butter churns up here, including variations on the rocker churn, more dasher churns. This dasher churn, as you can see, is not made of staves and hoops like most dasher churns are, the product of Cooper's, but rather this one is kind of a truncated pyramid. It's amazing the variations people came up with for a fairly simple uh, idea of churning butter. And the variations of butter churns continue. This is another crank churn with paddles inside and as you turn the crank that agitates the cream and has the butter separate out. More variations on the dasher churn, different sizes for different size herds of cattle. These two are not coopered, put together with little boards or staves as they're called, like, like most, but this is a solid piece of wood that was cut round, hollowed out, and then when that was green, a bottom inserted, and as the wood shrank, it held the bottom in nice and snug. And this variation is just four boards on the sides, with two of them cut out for handles, very clever, but otherwise a pretty, pretty traditional dasher churn. The creativity of butter churn designers just amazes me. This one here, as you can see, has two dasher churns side by side with geared uh, dashers and the center gear. You move this back and forth and it would raise one and then the other back and forth through the cream. This one is another dasher churn but has a lever on it to get a little mechanical advantage on churning your butter. More variations on gear driven machines. And this is a kind of variation on a rocker churn. Instead of the churn rocking, this one, the, the dasher rocks back and forth through it. Little paddles would agitate the cream in there. And this one with its dasher, with its uh, tub missing, you can see how the paddles would work through a series of wooden gears to, to agitate the cream. Well, thanks for joining me for this quick look at butter churns. I'd love to stay longer and show you some more, but I have to dash.